So in this one, if you're listening, it was a photo of a woman with very, very red eyes. And she says, uh, she posted this into a Facebook group called Urine Therapy. I've been doing urine drops in my eyes and holding a glass of urine over my eyes for short durations throughout the day. My eyes were getting red and discharging large amounts of pus. I was wondering if anyone else went through this. And the comment is, uh, that's called detox. Keep doing it with fresh urine and the redness and discharge will stop. <laughs> I don't understand urine therapy. Uh, because it's bollocks. Um... I do Maybe that's why I don't understand it. But like, why would someone think it's a good idea to put pee in their eyes? Like, I don't know what their goal is. Yeah, there's a lot of um, esoteric information out there. And I don't mean, uh, I should not say that, because it sounds like I'm dissing esotericism, which I'm not. For some reason, they think that because it's been through your body and it's been purified by your kidneys and your liver and everything they seem to have it the wrong way around that they think the urine is then going to have all the good stuff in it uh because technically you could drink your pee uh if you had to but can't you only drink it for a certain number of days before yeah it becomes yeah. toxic or uh, dangerous? Not days it's more like runs through so like you can only drink it really once safely uh, because the efficiency of your system means there might be some good stuff left in it still and it won't be that toxic but every time you run it through your body it gets more and more distilled um, and so there's a reason why it's waste it's because your body hasn't processed it um, and then and then you're sticking it in your eyes well <laughs> urinotherapy mm is an alternative medicine is the application of human urine for med medicinal or cosmetic purposes, including drinking, massaging into one's skin, or gums. No scientific evidence exists to support any beneficial health claims of urine, urine therapy. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's if your eyes weird. are discharging with large amounts of pus, pus. That's a sign. <laughs> yeah, that's a sign that something is <laughs> the not right. It's like, just keep doing it. It'll stop. Yeah, it'll stop when you're eyes fall out of your head like <laughs> yeah well because and i know that like people have like there's a lot of claims about urine being sterile but the the package from which it from whence it comes yeah. is not and that's where yeah. you're getting the bacteria into it which yes. this is how like the thing is is that the people it's one of those things that people i think misunderstand i mean most of us get it i think but people like this in the small minority don't they're like the urine itself is sterile when it comes out of your kidneys, providing you don't have any infections. Mm. Uh, but then there's a reason why you get UTIs. It's because something's gone wrong through your uh, urinary tract. Your delivery method. Yeah. And, and if, yeah, and once it travels through your urethra and comes out, like it's already contaminated. Mm hmm But let's put it in our eyes. Yeah. That it makes was a, fucking sense. I just, but like, like a Reddit post I saw where someone was like, am I the asshole for feeding my neighbor's kids pee sickles? Oh, and like, yeah. Yeah, and they were like, they'll thank me when their kid's doing better in school. It's like, what magical properties do you think are in your pee? That mm. Like, are you a genius? And you're trying to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and it's just the logic. I just don't understand. Like, Because it, it doesn't even sound logical. That... No. You, pee is a waste product. It's expelled from your body because your body doesn't either need it or want it. <laughs> and you're giving and it, it to is... your neighbor's kids. Yeah. That's child abuse. Uh, yeah, that's what a lot of the comments said. <laughs> oh, apparently it's a biblical proverb. Drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well. Yeah, they don't mean maybe they weren't being. Maybe they yeah. weren't being metaphorical. Maybe they actually meant Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you mean you're well in your system, <laughs> and then so because um, a lot of the stuff in the Bible and the Quran and that, um, a lot of it is about hygiene. Because so many people were dying of hor horrific illnesses because they did shit like putting pee in your eyes. And <laughs> I mean, the, do you? What? No, I was going to go somewhere completely different. There oh. is a <laughs> no. Stop talking. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> There's a company that is looking for um, poo donations. They will pay you up to $500 for your caca. You could get like, yeah, because they're, I forget what it's called. It's like genomes or biodome, but not, no, not biodome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably sure. 
<laughs> that was a terrible poly shore. No, it was actually quite fun. Anywho, so uh, like they're very because I was like I I poop at least once a day. I can make five hundred bucks a day. Like we're looking five hundred dollars a day for poop. Uh, a but catch. they have very they have very high um, criteria. Like mm. I think I'm too old because I think they like it. They're, like 30 year old poop you know <laughs> women can't win over 30 i'm telling you don't even take her shit but, <laughs> but they also have like a certain fitness level and a certain like dietary whatever because they want like the best poop possible because they want to take uh what's the therapy how would fecal, they know that you don't fecal fitness? microbiota or something mm. i think i think they give you like a health questionnaire there's like a pretty mm. intensive questionnaire and then maybe like a sample first to prove that you've got what it takes to donate yeah. your poop. But yeah, it's a up, questionnaire. Folks. Self-report. Notoriously unreliable. So you could say anything. You could, but then once they get the poop and they test it, they're going to know you're a liar, liar, pencil fire. But you're 500 bucks uh, in the I green. don't think... Oh, they do pay you up front, but they probably... I don't... Just stop with the scams. <laughs> <laughs> I want $500 from a poo damn, merchant. Damn. Could you imagine if you qualified... Yeah, I'm and like, this. let's say you poop twice a day, you'd make a thousand dollars a day. A uh, thousand dollars a day. The other day, right? And obviously, I'd be because, stealing people's poop. Well, when I'm coming down off of, like, when I'm coming off of opiates, you know, it's everybody who listens to the podcast knows it's up and down, depends on my pain. But then when I'm withdrawal, withdrawing off of it, and I go through withdrawal, sometimes I can poo like four times in a day. That's fucking two thousand dollars. I don't know as an opiate addict that you would, I mean, not to, not to sound ableist or whatever, but I don't know that you would qualify. <laughs> I, I might don't know do... that your opiate poop would be top-notch poop. It might be. Maybe I need to start doing meth because your body doesn't process meth and then it can come out in your pee and stuff. So maybe I, I need, need to you to meth. think, I need you to say that sentence again slower so you could hear how stupid it sounds. <laughs> I think it sounded like a genius level thought. <laughs> I think you just don't understand my genius. You're going to develop a thousand dollar a day meth habit to make $500 a day in poop money. <laughs> no, no. Cause I, cause <laughs> I, I could maybe the meth would like, um, cause I've never taken it. So I don't know what it's like, but it might get me so wired up that I just want to put all the things in my mouth. Uh, food based i mean and and then i'll poo lots and then i'll make loads of money back and i'll fund I my meth know, habit i don't know if uh i don't know if meth gives you munchies like weed <laughs> does there's a lots of different places where you can donate your poop are they all 500 dollars though are they worth it uh, no this one oh this one in canada there's one in canada that's like 50 dollars per drop off that's all right, though. But uh, then again, if you have to drop it off, the petrol might cost too much. Yeah. Oh, here's the other one where you can make $500 a day. Uh, <laughs> it is called, hang on, humanmicrobes.org. Human oh, microbes. don't write it down because you can't use it. It's only the US and Canada. You're going to have to find the UK version. <laughs> I'll write it down and see if there's a, a, a UK version of it. Because, I mean... It'll be good to know if, like, you know, they might want to do research studies and they'll want people with uh, weird poo. I mean, my poo comes out fine. There's nothing weird about it. It's usually quite healthy. On the Bristol stool chart, it's usually uh, bang in the middle. Good colouring. Um, good consistency. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> it's not black or nuggety. It. It's not like rabbit stop. poo. And it's not runny. <laughs> what animal? Is it wombats that poo cubes? Yeah, yeah, wombats poo cubes and owls shit out their mouth. Mm -hmm. that I they didn't don't have know. buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me so much. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on to the next one. I want to carry on talking about owl poop. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every one of our 30, 40 listeners. Uh, 